Good morning, YouTube. We are back yet another day in the saga that is the Cessna 172. So the windows still have not come in. The shipping was delayed. I'm getting really sick and tired of that situation, but they're supposed to be here next week. Um, however, this does need to go out on the ramp. So I'm gonna get the old windows at some point. I'm gonna put those back in it. But today, my main focus is gonna be finishing up this baffling and everything on the engine so that except for the scat tubing, which I need to pick up from Falcon Crest and the exhaust clamps some point next week, this can all get cowled up and be put outside. I thought I would record a little voiceover in this moment. One of the owners of this airplane's name is Lyle. I've known Lyle for a while. He used to fly with us at a flight school that I worked at and then went to school at where I teach. We reconnected. I started working on this airplane, but his dream is to be a pilot for the Goodyear airship. And he has his own YouTube channel, which I'm going to link below in the description, where he has some aerial photography and some aerial videos he's done for the news. So head on over there, leave him a like, leave him a comment and show some support. Got it done. Nice and solid there and there. So that's ready to go. All I gotta do is put the baffle seal on that and put the baffle seal on that. Um, I'm allowed to use non-structural pull rivets for that, which is nice. But the uh, the owner did buy an Airwolf air separator before I, so before I get too far into that, I'm gonna try to figure out how to put that on. I'm probably just gonna show you that when it's finished because it's uh, looking like a pain and I don't wanna have to deal with the camera, so. It is time for a chicken sandwich. So I'm gonna go get some lunch, but I do think I got the Airwolf air oil separator uh, figured out where I'm gonna put it. I think I'm gonna have to put it on the firewall. It's the only place I can put it where it's high enough that the oil will drain properly. Um, but I, I am gonna go grab a couple of things from Tractor Supply while I'm out so that I can secure it while it's on the ramp. Some like aluminum shore tape so that the windows don't leak and uh, and some other things like that because it's gonna get moved out of the hangar uh, today. That's a whole thing, but it's, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, it's time for a chicken sandwich. So I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and I will be back over at the airport in a little bit. I figured it out. I'll show you what I did. So I ended up having to move the vent up here to the top. It was originally down in this hole and it turned right here and went overboard. So I had to move it up, but they've got this little T fitting there. There's the drain back into the sump. There's the drain here and the drain there. I still need to put hose clamps and everything on it. I ended up putting it on the firewall. I was gonna put it here on this baffling, um, but it wasn't high enough. I couldn't get it high enough for this to drain back into the uh, case properly. And I couldn't put it on the motor mount because the mount, motor mount is too low. So I ended up sticking it up here on the firewall. Um, it's kind of out of the way, which is nice. It's not gonna be in the way of any other installations. I still, like I said, I still gotta clamp it in place. Still gotta put hose clamps on everything. Um, but I got it figured out and that was my main goal. So now I'm probably gonna try to finish this up so that it looks nice and pretty. Um, I need to reroute some of this. There's just lots of loose ends I need to tie up. So we'll get into that. Look at that. We got it done, all complete looking pretty. So I'm gonna move on. It's, it's already getting pretty late, it's like 3.30, but I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna try to get this engine baffle installed. I might go ahead and Clico the windows back in or start setting the windows back in because like I said, it is gonna have to go out on the ramp. So I might do that real quick. Excellent, I'll tape those up tomorrow before it goes on the ramp. Uh, but it's late. I'm gonna go home. I'll be back tomorrow to finish up. It is now tomorrow. We are back. First things first, I'm gonna get the doors on it. I do have some temporary uh, door hinges to put in there. I ordered the upgraded ones from McFarland. They just haven't come in yet. But I'm gonna get those put on and finish getting the windows in it and taped up. And then I'm gonna continue on this baffling like I said I was gonna do yesterday. This kind of goes to show you how airplanes are built. I'm uh, literally one-handing this door right now and it's not too heavy. Okay. So I have all the, the doors and windows in. I'll seal those with some tape before we put it on the ramp. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this baffle finished up and get the baffle seal finished up so that I can get the cowling put on it next. This is pretty easy, you just cut these and then put in some, some blind rivets, nothing hard.
All right, so I got this uh, piece of baffle done, all the rivets pulled in there nicely, and I moved on to this one. I had to cut these. Um, I, I haven't been running the camera because the air compressor is very, very loud, um, but I've already kind of started to shoot down some of these rivets. There's a little retaining strip. I'll see if you can see it back there. There's a little retaining strip back here that they actually go into uh, that you smash, so. This is all finished up. I got this baffle over here finished up, so I'm gonna put the air wolf kit separator back on, put the cowling on it, um, and tape it up so it can be on the ramp. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave us a like, leave us a comment, and as always, subscribe and be easy.